Apparently, I broke threads. If you go visit my profile while you're using an Apple device or iOS, the app will crash. If you're using an iPhone and you just go see my account, the app will exit and die, and seemingly this is repeatable. Over and over again, it just seems to happen with my profile and mine alone. So three weeks ago, I, like many other social media lemmings, went to install Threads as this promised land, the new future away from Twitter, or X now, as it is in a flaming pile of whatever it is. And I was goofing around, hey, following new folks, trying to build up the community there. And without like any algorithm to like purposefully sort for the things that you're interested in or stuff that actually matters to you rather than just random things across the open internet, it's basically the Wild West. Anyway, I thought I would just start trolling. You know, I like to meme a little bit. I consider myself a professional shit poster, but with a unique niche of cybersecurity and nerd geeky tech stuff. So I just started dropping syntax. I just put out random noise, characters, nonsense, I don't know, sequel payload, trying to drop tables, fork bombs, just to see what would happen. And thankfully, I appreciate you. Hey, community folks, wanted to engage, interact, add a couple likes on that. And I noticed some crazy thing in the activities feed. It seemed like anything wrapped inside of curly braces after some preceding text would just disappear. It would just vanish. It was just gone. It was truncated or removed or cut out from the preview inside of the activities feed. And I thought, what the heck? This is kind of weird. It's kind of cool. I mean, I, I don't know if there's any actual like faulty code or any mistakes or anything that's actually, okay, tampering with it in one way or another, but whatever. Now I by no means hacked threads or had some exploit or vulnerability. No, it's none of that crap. I don't, I don't know. It's just some gimmick. But I thought, what is this? I got curious and I wanted to play with it more. So I just kept on poking and playing and trying random stuff. I don't know, different special characters, different punctuation marks, different things that see what would happen. This was a lot of fun too, by the way, because other people I think tried to catch on and they were interested and they started to do it just as well. And they would share their screenshots as to what they were seeing. And mind you, this is all three weeks ago. I don't know if any of it has actually changed. And other people started to join in. I don't know, it was just randomness, noise, nonsense, folks dropping different syntax folks trying different characters. It was just kind of silliness. Now, I'll admit, I have not opened threads in the past three weeks since I just messed around and did that stuff. I'm still stumbling around on the Twitterverse. I don't know, that's just where I'm still spewing content despite whatever writing on the walls and fire going on. So I have not looked back at threads and I don't know if that still even happens on my device. Because I have an Android, right? I use a Google Pixel, that is my phone. I have an Android device. I don't know or even see what would go on on the iOS Apple world. But someone just let me know, hey, you know what? I can't access your profile every time I go to it, the app just crashes. So silly video, fun fact, I guess I broke threads. I don't know how, I don't know why, but it's... <laughs> And I can't even be mad, right? I can't say like, oh, whatever, hey, Facebook, Instagram, meta threads thing, fix it, because I don't know what it is. It's not like I d d stumbled over something. I just think it is hysterical that all of that noise and nonsense is apparently doing something, and it just rendered my profile useless to Apple users. <laughs> anyway, I thought you might find that fun. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, YouTube algorithm stuff, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for letting me ramble for a little bit. I'll see you in the next video.